Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit stupid and a little bit irresponsible. I'm going to be melting all of my nude lipsticks together to make one lipstick. This decision was inspired by two things. One, I've had a cold recently and I've been really hopped up on NyQuil and DayQuil. Don't do that kids, it's a bad idea. And two, I saw Christine from Simply Nailogical do this a little bit ago where she combined all of her holographic nail polishes into one mega nail polish polish brew, but I don't have any nail polishes. So I'm going for what I do have, which is lipsticks. You guys may know, I've said it before, I'm a bit of a lipstick hoarder. I have a hard time throwing away lipstick, no matter how old it is. I wanted to go for nudes because one, I buy a lot of them. And two, I also thought that if I melted all my lipsticks together in general, I would just end up with black lipstick, which I like, but I already own. So maybe if I just stick to the nudes, I'll end up with a new nude color that is a pseudo midpoint of all of them. And I'm curious to see what that would look like. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna wear it all day and see what happens. See if it is actually a lipstick or if it's just a monstrosity. All right, so I've got my cutting board, my little jar, makeup wipes, my makeup mirror in case I get sentimental, um, my paper for swatching and my lipsticks. All right, I'm gonna start off with a lipstick that's very near and dear to my heart. This is Mrs. Norris. She is one of the custom lipsticks that I made at the Bite Lip Lab in January. Um, I'm just gonna swatch just a little bit, just so we can see. She's a little bit more of a brown than a nude, but I think the line between brown and nude is gonna be pretty blurry today. Here, here we go. Right. I'm like nervous for this. Oh. I don't actually want to use like the entirety of every tube of my nude lipsticks. So I'm basically just gonna be like kind of chopping the tips, kind of like mildly circumcising. <laughs> that is not enough. Maybe we need like a little bit more. It still works. Yeah, we'll take more from the other ones. That made me really nervous. Am I gonna be able to go through with this? This second one is a NYX matte lipstick in the color Butter. I really like this color, but whenever I put it on, it has very poor butthole coverage. Ha oh, ha, look at that. They look like tiny mouse turds in there. All right, I'm gonna blow through a couple of these. Let's start chopping, shall we? This is a ColourPop one in Aquarius. It's an it's oldie, but a goodie. It's a had for a couple of years -y for sure. This still works. If anything, it's a new beginning. You know, we're, we're sloughing off all that dead skin on the top and melting it all together. So I've been putting them into this glass bowl and it's looking like I might need to be a little less stingy. I'm having a uh, chop anxiety. Ooh. I think I broke it. Um, we're gonna have to bring in a lighter for some emergency lipstick surgery because I will have no fatalities on my set today. I just melted it and then I'm gonna put it back together. Maybe it'll never again be as straight as it once was, but it's reattached at least. Wow, look at the amount of nudie browns that I've bought in my lifetime. I don't know if this feels like a hoarder's episode, but I do feel like a little bit exposed. All right, ready for another one? This was hard at first, but as I keep going through my lipsticks, I'm like, I could spare a little more. Look at my surgeon's rags. Oh my God. All right, what's up next? This one I brought out, it's not a solid lipstick, but it's also not really a liquid lipstick. Like it doesn't dry down. Here's one that's double-sided. So we get to pick a bit off of both sides. Pull them both out and you're just like Darth Maul. Okay, so this is the same type as the one that broke earlier. So I'm gonna be careful with this. I'm trying to saw instead of like chop. I was also thinking of putting in a bit of this white. I was messing around with it thinking like, oh, maybe I'll put it in. And then the tip broke completely. So we're just gonna throw the tip right in. So this is the last one. It is one of my favorite tubes ever. This is the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in Oblivion. I'm not gonna decapitate too much because this one is too valuable to me. Okay, so here is my little bowl and here is my swatch paper. I really hope that there's enough for one lipstick in there. If not, we're gonna come back and chop a little more, but let's melt it down and see what we got. All right, so we're down here. We've got um, the mixture and we've got my little pan. And here is my little Amazon lipstick mold. Okay, so first let's heat up the pan and then I just gotta scoop it out basically. It's almost like, uh, like chocolate chips. It's melting right away. Oh, wow. Okay, let me just get this off with the spatula. 
Come on, y'all bitches. Just wanna get every last bit. No lipsticks died in vain today. Wow, it is totally melted already. I was kind of mixing together. It's doing something. Uh-oh, don't burn it. I think it's maybe already just like ready to go. I think that was all the melting that we got. It looks a lot like chocolate. I will reaffirm that I am the Augustus Gloop of lipsticks. My plan is to pour this mixture into the beaker. Maybe we should have just put it in the beaker and microwaved it to begin with. Put it in the beaker and then put it straight into the little tube. All right, let's do it. All right, ready? Yes. <gasps> oh, you have to go before it solidifies. That Boom, worked. goes the dynamite. <laughs> What? That's it. And now there's like a little bit of lipstick left everywhere, but I'm glad that we had enough for one tube. So what my friends at Ritual de Fee taught me was that you put it in the freezer for like 10 minutes now, and um, then when it gets out, we'll try and put it in a tube. Or we'll have to remelt it and put it into a lip balm pot because it's not gonna fit, but we'll try. Okay, I'm gonna pour the leftovers into this beaker and then try and microwave it and see if we can't put the extras into that little lip balm tube. Oh, that is very Augustus Gloop right there. It's like pure chocolate. All right, so that's our extras. Oh, that looks pretty good. Are you gonna eat it? No, Saf. Are those all edible? Tastes like lipstick. I mean, what else was it gonna taste like? It's been 10 minutes, let's see how we're doing. I'm really hoping that this lipstick will fit into this tube, but we'll see. Is it fitting? I think so. Oh, how do I take the cap off? Maybe I twist it off? No, I'm ruining it. Why don't you just take it off and put it in? I can't get a grip on it. I was just use oh, this. Oh, oh. Oh, I got it, I got it, ready? Boom goes the dynamite. That was so smooth. elegantly done. Smooth and elegant is what you meant to say, but it fits, ready? Wow. I like the color. That looks nice. All right, let's go swatch it. So we have our lipstick and our extra lipstick right here. I'm pretty pleased with the color. It's kind of nudie, brownie, rosy, a little bit rosier than I expected, but it looks like it could be good. I mean, it's swatching. I think it looks pretty much like the mixture of all those colors. All right, let's put it on the mouth, shall we? It's really light, whoa, weird. As I keep applying it, it looks a bit better. There we go, We've, we're getting some color out of it now. I didn't realize I had so many lighter nudes. Maybe I should have gone heavier on the browns in my closet. Okay, so this is my lip color. There's a lot of different textures going on. It's quite full coverage, which I like. Like, you can't actually see my lip through it, which is cool. It's just very light. I didn't expect it to be this light. And I do have a fair amount of lighter nudes that I don't use very often. And I think that maybe, my hand went a little bit choppier into the ones that I don't use as often because I was like, I can use this one up. But overall, I like it. I think it kind of reminds me of like a Kim Kardashian nude color, you know? One of those pictures where she's kind of like, has her hair wet for some reason. It's not really the midpoint that I was thinking of, but it's some type of midpoint. So I'm gonna take my tube of Frankenstein nude and I'm gonna wear it around tomorrow and see how it lasts throughout the day, how the coverage is, you know, just do some check-ins and see, see how this lipstick really is. So it's not exactly tomorrow. It is in fact actually a couple of days later. This is actually my childhood bedroom. Um, I'm actually in Chicago right now. I've been like on the road the last couple of days, but I finally have an afternoon off so I can spend some quality time testing out the formula of my Franken lipstick. There are a lot of different formulas that went into the lipstick, like, sheer, shiny, creamy, matte, like everything basically. So we'll see sort of what happens. There it is. It still smells kind of like baby powder. I wonder if when I cooked it, I lost some of the scents of the other lipstick. I don't know if that's possible, but it kind of feels like that might have happened. All right, let's try and put it on. Oh wow, it goes on like pretty opaque from the beginning. It definitely feels like the type of lipstick that would transfer very easily, but also feels like really comfortable on your mouth. Let me just fix my Cupid's bow really quick. Okay, so I'm gonna take my lipstick out of the town and we'll see kind of how it lasts and how it performs as a regular lipstick. I have a good feeling. One advantage of this lipstick being a little bit lighter is that the butthole lip is almost imperceptible. Like it's not the exact color of the inside of my mouth, but it's pretty hard to tell when the waterline begins and that is ideal. Oh, I have to name it, don't I? Did I name it already? Okay, so I've come up with three possible names. Um, the first one is Bikini Bottom, because I was thinking, you know, things that are nude, butts. My other options are cargo shorts and coffee mate. So you guys let me know in the comments which one you like better. Bikini bottom, cargo shorts, or coffee mate as the name of this Franken lipstick. Can't decide. Also, I just noticed 
There's a little lipstick on my cheek chin area. This thing is already transferring even before I try and make it transfer. So speaking of transfer, I did get some iced coffee and a clean straw so we can see like what the damage is. All right, ready? The coffee's pretty good, a little bitter, but um, there is definitely transfer. Not as much as maybe I thought there would be, but like, you know, it's gonna come off. Yeah, no, well, that's my mouth. I was just thinking that like, once this tube runs out, I'll like never get to have this color again. So actually, since I like left home like seven years ago, there has since sprung up an Ulta in my neighborhood. So I'm gonna walk over to Ulta right now and see if I can't find a good dupe. Okay, so I swatched my lipstick, which will help me in my search. So let's try and find something that matches this. All right, none of these are right. That one right on top of it looks kind of similar, but like in person, it looks much pinker. None of those are quite right either. Yeah, maybe I should wipe these off and start again. All right, I started over. I'm still kind of stuck in between a few shades. It's honestly hard to find a good dupe for this. Maybe it's just its own unique child. So after all my Ulta adventures, the thing that I found that was the closest dupe was actually this NYX lip liner, which is in the color London. It's not the same formula, it's not really exactly the same color, but it's close-ish. The hunt is still on for the dupe for this, but this lip liner is not too far off. Also, how did I end up buying more nude lipsticks in this video? Anyway, it was time to get food, so I went to my favorite place in the world, Hot Bellies. So I got a big turkey on wheat with mushrooms, and I'm gonna eat it and see what happens to my lipstick. All right, I'm crouching down a little bit so I can uh, get in frame. Maybe I'll just put you further back. Now, we shall grub. So as I suspected, the sandwich pretty much destroyed my lipstick. There's a little bit of lipstick left on the top lip, but not on the bottom lip. And then there's like a little bit of lipstick residue like right on the chin. At this point, I would definitely have to reapply. But like, it's been a few hours, so I'm pretty impressed. You know, there's a lot of things happening in that sandwich that taste amazing, but maybe aren't so friendly to the lipsticks. This kind of works. I brought like eight lamps into this room to like get some light in here. So the evening ended up bringing very little. So um, I just kind of like hung around with my lipstick and it's looking pretty good. Overall, I'd say that I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I like how it goes on. I think it's quite opaque and it does last like a decent amount of time. Like it wasn't like gone in two seconds. Does not last through straws or food, but you know, I don't know that many stick lipsticks that do. All in all, I would say it was a pretty successful bad makeup experiment. I don't think I'm gonna be doing it again just because it did pain me to cut the tips of those lipsticks off. But I actually do think I will continue to wear this lip color. I really actually do like it. I think it's very comfortable. I think that I'm gonna have to continue to search for this dupe. Cause like in this light, it looks like not a dupe, but like when you turn your hand, it kind of does. The search continues. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you've already smashed that subscribe button, make sure to also smash that little bell icon in the middle to turn on post notifications so you get a notification every time that I post. Here are my social media handles and make sure to check out my next beat. I do a lot of daily vlogging and Q and A's on there. A big shout out to Tracy for watching. Thanks for watching Tracy and I will see you guys uh, next time.